Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel 2, where last episode with work started on Valimar's Tachi, we learned of movement in the Noble Alliance's forces, with Tristan now open to be retaken. With Reen and company urging the RMP to let them do the job, they prepared for the assault, storming the front with Valimar and the prototype weapon, as we now head in on foot. Okay, a ghost town. Is it just because they have a military curfew and everyone's inside, please? It. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Trista so quiet before, though. <laughs> Seeing our dorm again really brings back memories, though. Just a few months ago, this was our home. It's finally dawning on me that we're actually back. Back in good old Trista. We really are. Feels like it's been a lifetime since we were last here. Even if Crow and Sharon have yet to return, I'm glad that we have. Still almost there now! Now, on to the Academy. Not much farther to go. Ah, should have known it'd be you guys. Nicked! Glad to see you're alive. And kicking. I guess it's good to see you kids back here too. You'll be glad to know that the townsfolk are the same as ever in spite of all this. Hey, it's class seven. <laughs> you're all back. D did someone just say class seven? Ain't Toa too. <laughs> oh boy, am I glad to see you. The feeling's mutual. It, it really is. When the battle began, we all started taking shelter where we could. But when we saw the Alliance guys running off with their tails between their legs, we came out here hoping for some good news. I can't believe you guys actually made it back here. <laughs> Looks like Mick was right after all. Right? Right about what? I heard from Toby, uh, Toval, that you guys would be here to liberate Trista soon. He, uh, told me that we should be here to give you guys a warm welcome. Really? I guess he must have heard that from Captain Claire or something. Still, since you're here, I take it you're planning on taking back the Academy? Good on ya. Show us all some real Thor spirit. You know we will. Thank you all so much. This really means a lot to all of us. All right, everyone, get ready. We're going in. All right. right. That was one hell of a voice. Mick has a voice. I feel like Mick's actually got the same voice actor as that guy over there, but then like had to do a different voice to make it obviously different. That's how I feel that that went a little bit. I'm so happy to see you all okay. Good luck and take care. <laughs> no need to worry about any of us. We're doing just fine. Leave trust to us and go take back your academy. That's what you're here for, right? Good luck, everyone. I know you can do it. I've done what I can. It's all on you. I've done what I can. It's all on you, kids, now. <laughs> now get on up here and show us what you can do. I was the voice that... No. <laughs> there are still nobles in the academy who are unlikely to let you take it without a fight. Still, there's no reason to worry. All of us here believe in you. I I'm glad you do. It's great to see you all back here. I never thought I'd see anyone here ever again. One again. <laughs> I can't thank the goddess enough. Only four students would be able to drive the alliance away like that. Now go over to the academy and teach stragglers a little something about school spirit. <laughs> Can I go in anywhere? I'm curious about how things are going in here too, but we don't have the time to go inside right now. Yeah, let's go. So no going in to check anywhere else, right? We don't have time for this. Yeah, let's have it to the academy. No, let's raid. Raid the pawn shop. Even though I promised not to say that again. Supposedly I can't say it right. I just think you're all being mean. How nice to see you all. Two months, I believe, it's been. Just as strong flowers always bloom back again after a long winter. You've all come back and you've all grown so much this year. The entire faculty was placed on the Alliance's strict watch when they took the place over. 
I think you might just be able to free them now, though. <laughs> Good luck. Can't even go buy some stuff. It seems people are around wanting me to... Uh, wrong button. Wanting me to talk to them all the same. You're waving at us, in fact. Here they are, here they are. I didn't believe Mick said... Well, I did believe Mick when he said you were on your way, but he was right. It's so great to see you again. Go get those jokes in the academy, what for? Don't you even think of losing. I wish we could offer you more than our cheers, but that's just the way it is. Tell you what, I'll treat you to something in the restaurant when all is over. <laughs> that's something to look forward to. Give me a recipe and we'll make it even. Whoa, it's really you! I can't believe you managed to be up those soldy thingies. You guys rock! Are they going to be able to beat the guys over the academy, though? Of course they will. Piece of cake. Well, just be careful, okay? Go get those guys. <laughs> Thanks. It's S-Craft Festival time. Those nobles at the academy haven't just been twiddling their thumbs while you're away. Don't drop your guard against them, okay? What well, you got here? All those soldiers were hanging around town. It sucked. So go take care of things in the academy so they stay away for good. It's like a hero's parade entry, isn't it? I can't believe they're all here to see us. We're lucky to have everyone's support. <laughs> they totally love us! We're awesome! You've both done so much for the people of the town, after all. <laughs> Take a moment to be proud of yourselves for once. Who oh, is the people from the academy? Good luck! You're nearly there! <gasps> Must have been a real ordeal to make it back here. But you did it! We're all overjoyed to see you all again! Only a little farther until you make it back to the academy now. Good luck! Take a sharp right. How dare you! You still have trials yet to face, but you will overcome them. Just as you have every one you face so far. May Adios watch over you, and may your actions bring help to the people of this land. Hm. I always knew the day would come when you would return to us. May the goddess watch over you and keep you safe. Please take care. Yes, I was trying to go fishing in the middle of this saving the academy section. Hey, lady, we gave food to... Class 7! So you finally returned. You won the maze from the upper class dorm, right? Um, are we correct in assuming that the Order of the Lion is in the academy at the moment? Absolutely. Please take care of them for me. We will. Don't worry. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> you really hate them that much? <laughs> Remember the audio lion are inside the academy right now. I trust their care to you. Good luck. Sure. Do you want me to take that broom as well and give him the personal touch of whacking him with that? Angie and the others must be at the back gate by now. Are we ready to go in, Reed? This is it. The success of our operation all rides on this, on this moment. This very, very moment? I think there's been many other moments. Are we ready to get started? Why wouldn't we be? Well, here we are, back where it all started, Thor's Military Academy. The place where we went from strangers, to classmates, to friends. I've got so many memories, I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> Same here. And here I was thinking I was too young to get nostalgic. This is our first time getting to see it since the Alliance took the capital. It's strange to think we were here only two months ago. It really is. It feels like it's been so much longer. The place where our class first began, where we first met, is right in front of us. And we're going to take it back. Let's go, everyone! Here we go! Here we go. We've been waiting for you, Class 7. <gasps> Patrick! It's been some time, Schwarzer. I haven't the faintest doubt that you and your classmates would eventually be here. Nevertheless, you have our congratulations for doing so. Oh, hello, Celestine. 
I'm pleased to see that none of you have changed. I see quite a few familiar faces here. <laughs> what a joy it is to see you again, Yusuf. Well, you certainly look ready for us. Although, judging by what you said earlier, you must have predicted we were coming. Probably before the battle on the East Highway even began, too. Who do you take us for? We know your class better than anyone. There was absolutely zero chance of you passing up a move to take back the Academy, once the Alliance left it in our care. Naturally, we took precautions on the other side of the Academy as well. Huh? Right, we're in. I hope Ween and the others are okay. <laughs> I hope you weren't expecting to simply waltz in here without even the slightest resistance. Sir Blanc! Voice wise. If it isn't my most exquisite rival, Angelica! Our reunion could never be more perfect. And I see you burst into the scene, flourishing only the finest in company. Welcome, Class 7, to the forbidden paradise of the noble Vincent Florald. Oh, great. It's you. <laughs> Well, you're one of the last people I expected to bump into here. Guess our attempt to sneak in was a total bust. So it appears. <laughs> you are beautiful, yes. But you could never hope to surpass my great intellect. Go on. Don't be shy. Shower me with praise. Adel, you look well, Fee. <laughs> I'm sure the flowers will be so happy to see you back home. It's a shame Loggins and Alan aren't with you. Still, looks like the present company should pose enough of a challenge to keep me interested. I'm honored the strongest swordsman among the second years would say so. Man, this isn't going to be as easy as I was hoping it would be. Master Patrick, the battle should be in full swing on the other side by now. Then shall we begin as well? Oh no! You're set on fighting us? <laughs> we are the ones entrusted with looking after this academy after all. We wouldn't be much of an order if we simply allowed intruders to wander in unopposed. Maybe, but the Alliance forces who gave you that task are long gone. We're all students here. Why do we need to keep fighting? We aren't doing this because we were ordered to, Schwarzer. We're doing this because we're upper-class students. Call us obstinate, call us fools, call us whatever you will. Neither the will of the Alliance nor my father's desires are of concern to me. We are nobles, and we feel both pride and honor in our social standing. We wish to know what cause we must take up arms for by virtue of that pride and honor. And we intend to find it by facing you. You're making headway in finding your answers. Let us find ours. You've thought long and hard about this, haven't you? So that's why. I understand how you must feel, Patrick, but... Sorry, but we intend to fight just as obstinately for our cause. We're going to take back the Academy. This is our home. And if fighting you is all it takes to get what we want, then that's exactly what we'll do! We believe in our reasons, just as strongly as you believe in yours! That's why we came all the way here! <laughs> I would expect no less from our student council president. Or from Class 7, our worthy rivals. Celestine, get ready! As you wish, Master Patrick. That... that's a combat move. When did you start using that? I won't hold back, Lambert. I would never ask you. If you believe you can shatter the will I have lovingly developed with Whitcomb, go forth and try with all your might. We have our pride. Our honor and our strength, while you have yours. Let's see who comes out on top, Rain Schwarzer! Bring it on, Patrick!
Then let the ball commence. Follow my lead, Sarifa. On the name of House Florald, we shall not allow them to take another step farther. Of course, Master Vincent. <laughs> it's almost reassuring to see how little you change. I'll give you all the support I can muster. Ha! You're gonna need to fight your best, because we sure will be. Let's go, guys. Right behind you. Here goes. We shall never back down. Nope. Time to go full throttle. Kills first. Here I go. How are we gonna deal with this? Well, do we bother scanning them, or do we just wipe them out horrifically? I mean, with Reed, it's a bit easier, because we've got Dragon Vision. Seems they can be AT delayed. I mean, I can literally go, Dragon Kick! And blow the crap out of them. <laughs> and it always depends on what people are going to be using. I'm going to impede these three. Maybe. What the hell with that? The two guys getting dodges and the counter off that straight away. Come on. Onward. I gotta say, I'm not too happy with that. No escape. Zaya. My turn. Oh, I don't see how I'm gonna get much in the way of other things, but. We have one fade opponent, one sealed opponent. An opening. Too slow. Now. People going down An left opening. and right. We have a burst, but if I'm ever gonna scan, if Here you know I what I mean. Hmm. I don't have much time to do that. But I also want people to not be attacking. Gotcha. My turn. Alright, we've got so many on the 80 delay side of things right now. Alright, we'll use scan on Elisa. Scan on, we'll start to like scan people and like peel them off one by one, I guess. Is the only way I can look at this. One, two. Huh? And duck. Big 80 delays now. Right. Well, how about we all now just throw out stuff? How many battle scopes do I even have? Seven. And then finish up with a big S craft, maybe. Because I think we've got multiple turns before they can even move again at this point. The second year student who is heir to the oh heir heir to the Florid family and asks this, but his skill for spear is genuine. My turn. Were you from Nord and I didn't know? It's gonna have to be battle scopes. We're gonna have to trust in Reen Dragon Vision, I feel. Sarifa! <laughs> Highly skilled maid of the Floral family accompanies Vincent everywhere and fights with two pistols. My turn. I say, will you still have enough time to use? Not a problem. Not a problem. I mean, we could switch Elliot after all. That'd be one way of doing things, too. Huh. Just use a straight up detector. Captain Defensive Club and Force Second's st oh, strongest second year. Okay, enjoys watching others struggle with problems. Yes, she was the one we feared. Time to shine. They're all yours. I'll try at least. <laughs> but I'll only try. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. That'll save me a scope. I've got it! A kind second year student who serves as head of the gardening club is finally capable of a normal staff. My turn. It's your turn, Feet. Let's put an end to this. You're finished. Full speed ahead. Do 
Well, that was them all wiped out. Sorry, would you mind? I'll take care of this. <laughs> I'm not holding back this time. <laughs> I just realized the light forms on her crotch and then the fire forms on her boobs. Why? Why, Japan? Well, three level ups, and that's our uh, first so group cool. down. Success. Uh, yes. This might actually be a challenge. Well, someone gets to go first. Now, how confident are you in Reed being able to get a first turn wipe? Maybe not massively likely then. She's gonna burn to death the other two who are pretty much dead. The only kill Patrick. Of course I had to kill Patrick first. Shorter of Camp Floral sees Elisa as a rival and hates losing. Highly skilled at archery. We did of course get the scat on Patrick too. So you're gonna heal. You're gonna heal? Of course! Or buff. One of the two. Critical coming up, you know, so we might want to steal that. I've got it. Extremely capable butler in service of the High Arms family fights alongside Patrick using martial arts. I'll handle this. How do you feel about trying to use your rainbow shot to take these guys out, Lisa? Just wondering. What is rainbow shot, Lisa? Rainbow shot? Yeah, what's rainbow shot? Lisa, Toa. Oh, I'm not used to having her in the party. Captain of the Riding Club and lover of horses swings a great two-handed sword effortlessly. I wanted that. Ah! Yeah. I'm sorry, everyone. What did you just do? I was expecting to get that out beforehand because he went for just a normal melee. I didn't get it out. I should have done it beforehand, but I was too busy reading and didn't just esprit. Emma's gonna get any experience. Oh, come on. She stopped me enough. Treasure these final moments. What a waste of our time. Let's go. Well, I wasn't expecting them to actually hurt Emma that much. Poor Emma. Poor Emma. I'm awesome. She got some experience. She got the experience for Patrick. That's the experience that matters, right? What a hit by that guy. <sighs> Master Patrick. We did it. We did it. We sure did. Looks like we're the victors this time. Why? I fought with all I had! Why was I not victorious? I fought with all the heart and soul of an equestrian, but it wasn't enough. This can't be happening! First I lost during that practical exam, and now I've lost again? Master Patrick, please raise your head. You may have been bested, but you've no reason at all to feel ashamed. Defeat shouldn't always be equated with embarrassment. You gave this fight your all, and for that, you should be proud. Damn it! I'm astounded by your overpowering strength and will, Yusis. I always knew you had a bright future ahead of you as a rider, but you have just as bright a future in combat as well. Thank you. You fought well yourself, Lambert. Hmm. 
Ah, what a splendid sight to behold! Principal Mandic? Instructor Makarov? I thought you were all locked up. Hey, good to see you kids again. We did as we were asked and witnessed the battle from inside, and what a fine battle it was. Both sides fought with all their might. Each and every one of you deserves to hold your head up high. Take it from me, Patrick. You showed all the spirits of a true noble. <sighs> Wait a second. Patrick, was this your doing? Correct. As soon as the Alliance withdrew, Master Patrick and the other upper-class students released the instructors at once. They were merely asked to remain inside until this battle met its end. Wow. Hm. We've played our part by watching the other battle taking place too. Angie! Oh, Beatrix! And Vice Principal Heinrich too. <laughs> no broken bones, I hope. <laughs> We just wrapped things up on our end not too long ago. Only to find out that these two had been keeping an eye on us this whole time. My blade was utterly useless against her overwhelming splendor. <gasps> what a tragedy. Master Vincent, I'm afraid that comes to the surprise of no one here. One would be a fool to say otherwise after comparing your abilities. Oh, woe is me! There's no need to be so blunt, Saripa. Why in Adios's name do I have to watch this tomfoolery? <laughs> Good on you for agreeing to, though. Oh, you're all here. <laughs> Came for a look, I see. <laughs> nice work, guys. It seemed like you were done over here, so we came to take a peek. Our champions have been decided! What a wholly inspiring display of youthful vim and vigor! Indeed. Patrick Iams, as well as those who fought valiantly by his side. The Battle of Wheels has been fought, and the victor is clear. What will you do? <sighs> Master Patrick. What is the meaning of this, Schwarzer? Did you not learn your lesson from the last time you tried to hold your hand out to me after battle? I don't think you can compare this to the battle back then. Sure, we fought before, but this is the first time we did so without holding ourselves back. And it's the first time we did so while regarding one another as true equals. Maybe you couldn't take my hand after that fight. But I think you can now. <laughs> You will never cease to be an irritant, I'll have you know. I hereby proclaim the Order of the Lion disbanded. All upper-class students will assemble under the leadership of Student Council President Herschel. Now, all students, regardless of class, shall righteously fight under one banner as bearers of the Horned Lion Crest. Yes! Thank you, Patrick. None of that from you. <laughs> we finally made it. Feels damn good to actually succeed in what we set out to do. We really have. We're here. All of us. It feels so good to know that Thors can finally be together as one again. That's right. 
But this isn't over yet. Our lives in Trista were simple, but full of happiness. We've taken back our home, and now it's time we take back our happiness. Right! right. It was a long and difficult journey, but we were finally able to take back the academy we had longed to return to. The cheers and tears of joy continued well into the night. With every single one of us, commoner and noble, feeling an overwhelming sense of pride to be a student of Thor's military academy. What's more, our victory renewed our hope for the future. So long as we were united, we had the will to work towards putting things right at last. Ooh, so ends Act 2 at last, The Awakening Lines. Now, what? Are we at the end game? Are we going to declare ourselves our own independent nation of Trista? In the middle of... <laughs> we only wanted to just take over our own neutral country. Sure. Everyone's bonds are strengthened! A thousand points! Link level 5? Link level 5? Everyone's getting to link level 5 by the look of it. Link level 6? Next is nothing, so link level 6 is maximum? Auto Curia 2, an almighty blow. Interesting. Link level 5, rush 2, of course. Lethal assist, an almighty blow. Oh, they've, they've got really high up. Link level 4, between Reen and Toa. Link level 4, between Reen and Angelica. <laughs> Upper rank you go! Here's okay. a bonus from the 289 Academy. point, we got a Master Quartz Rebellion for rank A1. Wow! That must have been tough! Not really. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Emma to just be knocked out like that. I'm so proud of you, Reen! Thank you very much. I'll take my ass ass. Very snaking along at the end there. Well, we saved Trista. Trista is ours. Let's go. Does that mean I get to check out Trista? We get a good old school session. Is that what's going to happen? Like, are you caught in those clothes? It's night time. <laughs> Does feel a bit home sweet home, doesn't it? <laughs> Little do we know, we can't see it, but Eric Etlam's behind Vincent, holding him in position. He can't escape. That's why that team is so scary. I'm so happy to finally be back. And looking around, I'm not alone in that sentiment either. Maybe it won't last, but everyone's determined to enjoy it to the fullest while they can. After all, who knows what tomorrow will bring. I knew things wouldn't instantly go back to normal, but I didn't expect all that to be thrown on us. 
Oh, five hours earlier, what took place? silent, we have a firm foothold to take back Heimdall. If we don't seize the moment before the year is up, there's every chance the war will drag on even longer as a result. Fighting is still brutal as ever in Western Erebonia, but if the Nortia and Kreutzen provincial armies keep their word not to interfere, we may be able to turn the war around. Hmm. That does sound like the best chance we'll ever get, but I still have doubts. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. We have no intention of taking an active role in the war. We simply wish to fulfill our duties as Military Academy students. That sounds perfectly fine to me. We aren't asking you to fight on the front lines to retake the city. Rather, we would like you, the students of Thor's Military Academy, to liberate one very specific location. Yeah? And where might that be? the castle by any chance I'll be the one explaining that y you're here too you're from the intelligence division huh hi elector long time no see you back from crossbell yep the most pressing problem over there is all taken care of now. So I was finally able to access the Intelligence Division's network again. Wait a second. Most pressing problem? What happened over there? Oh, you know, that Azure tree is gone. There was a ton of confusion after its disappearance. But President Kreuss has been arrested, and things are beginning to calm down. We had no idea. I remember feeling an incredible amount of mana from that tree. Whatever happened there, it's obvious Ouroboros was involved. Regardless of how it came to happen, the fact remains. Crossbell is of no danger to us now. Yet with that comes new dangers on the horizon. What do you mean, Dad? Now that Crossbell is no longer a threat, there's every chance the Calvert Republic might make a move, is that correct? The Republic still has its own share of chaos as a result of their economic crisis and terrorism. But now that there's an opening to take Crossbell, we've no doubt they will recover sooner rather than later. And without Gorelia Fortress to serve as an effective deterrent, there's always the possibility they could use Crossbell as a staging area to launch a military incursion into Erebonia. As a result, our primary concern is ending this war as soon as possible. And we could use your assistance in bringing it to an ever swifter conclusion. I understand the situation. In that case, where is this specific location that you'd like us to liberate? That would be the Corel Imperial Villa. Hey, isn't that... That's the Imperial family's villa on the outskirts of the city, right? Are you suggesting that my family is at the villa? We believe your assumption to be correct, Your Highness. The Intelligence Division has established that His Imperial Majesty and the rest of your family have been imprisoned there. Lady Elise Schwarzer and Imperial Governor Regnitz are also with them. <gasps> Dad's there too? They've been there this whole time? It's close to the capital, but it's surrounded on all sides by cliffs and the like. That makes it the perfect place to keep VIPs hidden away. Exactly. The only way to access it via land is a special train that runs from Heimdall Station, and that is currently heavily secured by the Imperial Guard. However, were your party to use the Courageous to fly there, you should be able to get inside. I think you already know our answer. Yeah, I'm in. If you say they're there, Lecter, then they're there! It's not much different from liberating Ruwer or the Twin Dragon's Bridge, if we think of it like rescuing someone related to us. Indeed. While the Imperial family is naturally of great importance, 
Rescuing a member of the board of directors fits our motives to a T. And we've always seen it as our duty to help those related to the Academy. Guess that settles that. Uh, thank you. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> well, aren't we being humble? <laughs> this is what friends do. To think these kids would turn out to be so dependable. You're telling me. They're almost dazzling. <laughs> your Highness, may we have your permission to move forward? Yes, by all means. I, Alfin Rice Arner, humbly request that you carry out this mission. Very well, Your Highness. Students of Thor's Military Academy, I hereby declare that we shall dedicate our all to the liberation of the Corral Imperial Villa. Well, I was wrong by saying castle, but the reason I said castle was because of royal family. Really is strange. For all I know, tomorrow could determine the outcome of this war. And yet I feel completely at peace. Just being back here, seeing the sky, and being surrounded by this cool air makes me feel so happy. Why? You're not planning on standing here alone the whole night, are you? Oh, hey, Celine. Where's Emma? Who knows? I'm guessing she's over in the literature club's room. One of the second years dragged her off. Something about checking if any of her precious book collection had vanished. <laughs> that would be Dorothy. I don't know. I could wander around, but my head's kind of full at the moment. It's like it's suddenly registering just how much this academy means to me. I knew I liked it, but I never realized how much. Oh? Well, whatever you end up doing tonight, make it count. With both Vita and Ouroboros involved, you haven't seen the worst this war has to offer. The hardest part's yet to come. And you don't want to face your friend in the goofy bandana weighed down by regrets, do you? True enough. Oh, hey, are you here because you were worried about me? You've always been so considerate of us, even if you do try to hide it by acting grumpy half the time. <sighs> Stop that! You can't go around being nice to every girl you run into. Try treating someone special for once. I was! I chose cats! <laughs> Surely there's someone who fits that description better than me! Someone special, huh? This could be the last night you have to enjoy before everything goes to hell. Go and walk around a bit already. Oh, and go pay Valimar a visit too. Huh. Honestly, anyone with half a brain could have figured that out. Why do I have to be the one to tell you? I suppose she's right. It seems a shame to waste a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity standing around here alone. Besides, it's been a long time since I was last here at the Academy. I should walk around and see everyone. I've got a lot of catching up to do with the people in Trista. And after Valimar offered to stand guard near the west exit, it wouldn't feel right to leave him by himself the whole night. You can now use Quick Travel in Trista and the Academy. At night, you sure you don't want some like like I like, 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 can give you some like neck strokes. No one's gonna be like jealous about it. I'm pretty sure no one's gonna be jealous about it. Just come here, Celine. You know you want it. Come here. I'll stroke you like ten million times. She up around there again, like in the middle there. Come on, stroke your neck. You purr, you sit on my lap, we go to sleep on a chair together. No one's gonna think anything bad about it, even though you can talk. Right, it's time to speak to everyone! <laughs> it's good to finally be able to return the horse to the stable. <laughs> Almost makes the hell we endured to get here feel worthwhile. <laughs> Man, you're happy. I just wish we were here early in the day. It would have been fun to take them for a ride. We can save that for another time. I'm not looking forward to returning them to the ship in preparation for operation. I'd like wait until tomorrow. I'd like to let them sleep in their old stable tonight. Yeah, I think that'll make them happy. If there's anything I can lend a hand with, just say the word. Also, we don't have to take the horses I use the bike. 
I'm sure the horses will be invaluable in tomorrow's operation. I want to give them a chance to sleep comfortably in their old stable. Okay. I mean, I've got a motorbike. Doesn't look like it could bring it out at the moment, though, because we've got the old Trista screen. Can we go to, actually, like, Trista Trista? Or just the old place? Or the old school house? The old place. Doesn't look like... I don't know. We'd have to go out by front entrance, but okay. Oh, no, wait a second. I press that, don't I? Well, I can go explore the whole of everything. Whitcomb! Oh my beloved Whitcomb! How I've longed to see you again! A moment passed when I didn't think of you. Not a night when you didn't visit me in my dreams! My unwavering belief in your safety was the only reason I was able to press on! No need for worse, Whitcomb! I'm as happy as you are! Well, I'm glad you're happy. You got defeated by a horse, by the way. Considering Eustace the Special is the one that took you out. It's been two months since our training separation, and yet here we are, reunited at last! Eustace Paula, Class 7! I must thank you from the very core of my being! Wah! Sure. <laughs> the horses all seem so happy to be back in their home stable again. Especially Wickham. I'm really glad we were able to bring them all back safely. I was not over yet, but making it back here is still cause for celebration. They're getting big dinners tonight. Is there like bells going off? I thought that red shifted then. That's nah, not Celine, it's you, Professor G. Schmidt. Professor, I wasn't expecting to find you here. Hmm. It's the only place in town where I could find anything approaching peace and quiet, and so I had hoped. Don't concern yourself with me. Go on and celebrate with all the other students and boisterous townsfolk. Sure. Before I go, though, I wanted to thank you. I never would have been able to get past all those soldats guarding the town if it hadn't been for that weapon you made. Did I say I wanted to be thanked? Besides, the blade is merely a prototype, completely unfit to be used in actual combat. Having an unfinished product used in the field is the height of shame for any self-respecting engineer. Sorry, I didn't know. We really didn't have time to complete it before the operation started, so... Tomorrow morning. Come back tomorrow morning and I'll give you the full finished product. That's when I'll listen to your uninformed little judgments on it. There's something to look forward to. Right. Can't wait. I don't think I've met anyone with as much pride as this guy has. I met some big-headed people. I'll be sure to give you the full finished product by the morning. Shouldn't be too much of a problem with my additional assistant. Who could that be? I mean, George is the engineering club. Mint? Makarov? Makes me wonder. Hmm, <laughs> fritting away your time with more idle wanderings, I see. <laughs> yeah, you know me. Real fritterer, rrr, rrr, fritterer. So I wanted to come and thank you again. Thank me? For what exactly? I couldn't have united the whole academy on my own. We were only able to do it because you issued that statement. So, thanks, Patrick. I'll be counting on your help tomorrow, too. You're joking, right? You came all the way here just to say that? Let me take this chance to make things crystal clear for you, Schwarzer. We are not friends. And while you may have bested me early, I fully intend to settle that score, among others, at a later date. In order to do that, we'll need to return from tomorrow's operation alive and well. And so we must, so we shall. Now you're talking. You lot certainly have gotten stronger while you were away. Hmm. But don't get cocky. Patrick has far more potential within him than any of you do. <laughs> okay. The swordsmanship you displayed earlier was splendid, Patrick. Well done. We all truly moved by the spirit and determination you showed us. Hmm. I'm not sure why. Regardless of how well I may have thought, I ended up in their debt. The real test for us and upper class students doesn't begin until we make it through tomorrow. Um, I, I suppose you're right. <laughs> also... The funny thing about these statements is, of course, Patrick literally insta-died. He dropped like a stone. Everyone else managed to stand up. He's the only one in any of those battles that instantly just... Speaking of which, the first son of the Hyams family. He's trained with a sword since infancy and highly skilled as a result. That is Patrick's. A little entry there we got for just killing him outright. When I left the academy, I thought that all of this was over for good. How could I have imagined that one day the entire lacrosse club would be able to get back together again? What? Why am I... Theresia? Hey, no crying in front of the first years. Come on, we're supposed to be setting a good example for them. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Our work is anything but over. I need to stay strong until the very end. We're finally together again. We still have work to do, and I still have first years to set an example for. Force Military Academy's lacrosse club is officially back in business. Once we put this war to bed, we're getting right back into the swing of things, you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Prepare yourself, Lisa. 
Good to see our break hasn't served to demotivate anyone. We haven't used the field in a long time now, so the first order of business is getting all prepped and in shape. Well, maybe the first order of business is ending the war, but right after that, we're back to lacrosse practice. The dreams of youth. The order may have been defeated, but I remain ever dauntless. The next time we compete, Elisa, I will emerge victorious. Sure you will. I'll take you on any time, Ferris. <laughs> I couldn't be any happier that the lacrosse club's back together at last. It was a tough road, but staying on it was completely worth it. Granted, I did have everyone's help along the way. It makes me happy to see you so happy. This isn't the end just yet, though. Yeah, it all comes down to tomorrow's operation. But that's no reason for us to worry. Sticking together has gotten us through some rough times. I know we can do it. You and me both. Alright, should we do the outer perimeter first and then move in from there? And I'm guessing these exclamation marks. Toa seems to be like the main quest. By the look of it. And then we've got... Yeah. So these are people I can do some kind of bonding with? Is it the, the full relationship bonding? Is it the choice of a person? Based, to, based on the fact that it's on the two people I have level 6 support with. Reen, 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 reen. All these cuties have actually asked me to take their photos tonight. It's insane. And I mean, like, a ton of them. Oh, man. Tons of these make join the photo code photography club. Totally worth it. Next, I need to figure out how to convince them to get into cute poses and stuff while I'm taking the pics. Why don't we dial it back a few notches, Rex? The upper class ladies here are just too much. My heart can hardly take it. But the night's still young. Time to find more babes to snap pics off. I'm sure my heart will find a way to hold out. Okay. We haven't even spent our first year at the Academy, have we? Alright. No, anyone, no one celebrates in a library. <laughs> Any more books to read? Oh, there does look to be more books to read. Imperial Chronicle back issues. Imperial Chronicle back issues again. The stuff we can find on our ship, of course. Have you heard of a book series called Gamla Deck 2? Yes, I have. Its final chapter came out long ago. It reminded me of how nice it feels to see a story you followed come to an end. The final chapter. I still got it here, so how about you give it a read? I think it's a pretty fun way to while away the time. Is that actually, like, I haven't missed a chapter, have I? Like, there isn't a chapter, like, 14. Mm hmm? This library is so quiet today. Go ahead and relax here if you want. I'm sure the books will be happy to have company. It did sound like it was winding up to a final chapter, to be fair. Recommended reading corner. I think we've read all of that. And Cold Steel 1, of course. Not even Selene up here. Ah. <sighs> Was I mentioning issue 9, the Chronicle, from the past? Yeah. But now I can't be bothered. We know what happened. I mean, it, the paper in Trolls Cold Steel 1 was not as good as the paper in Trolls Cold Steel 2. Because the paper in Trolls Cold Steel 2 had all the propaganda in it. Right. I'm assuming we haven't missed anything. That is definitely the final, final, final chapter. Shall we read it? Shall we imbibe the finale of Gambler Jack 2? Not even going to wait to read you a bedtime story. I mean, it's a nice nighttime aesthetic at the moment. Let's read. We've got it. Finale. The aftermath. Leonard was led away without a struggle by Nike's elite subordinates. He stood accused of fixing all seven of the races that took place that day, as well as hindering many of the teams who took part in them and damaging their property, along with a host of other crimes. Either way, it seemed as though he would have a lot to answer for. Unfortunately, it seems that Carlos, the winner of the seventh race, was also to be tried as a co-conspirator for having gone along with Leonard's plans. A week later, everything was back to normal in the bar, where Jack and Hallie spent much of their time in the Eastern Quarter. Everything except the fact that Jack was actually reading a newspaper anyway. He was looking at an article about Leonard's arrest. Hallie, meanwhile, was pretending to be a bartender, or rather, practicing being one. Well, yeah, she said all of a sudden. Hey, Jack, what happened to the 55 million mirror you won anyway? He shook his head sadly. Gone like a bad bet, sad to say. Nike took it. It was regarded as Mira obtained through illegal means or some such. Ah, oh, too bad. <laughs> You're telling me. The 110 million Mira he had a friend win, meanwhile, hadn't been confiscated, but Jack had already made up his mind that it would go to Carlos one day. It was his, after all. You sure you okay with handing over that money? Memory calls, though. Jack asked her. She nodded. Yeah. The last thing I want is someone else after me because of it. After Lennon was apprehended, Jack had left it up. 
to Halley to decide what she wanted to do with the memory courts full of incriminating information that King had left her. She elected to hand it over to Nike. King had intended to it to act as a shield for Halley if she ever ended up getting involved in the underworld, but that very safeguard had placed her life in danger, and now an even larger number of people knew it existed. It was simply too dangerous for her to hold on to. Originally, the only ones who knew about the memory courts' existence were Jack and Nike, although only Jack had known that it had been incorporated into the necklace. Nike had only found out when Halley told her in the bar. Now that everything was over, Jack couldn't help but suspect that Nike's true aim all along had been to obtain that and not let us arrest. So, what was the code to open that thing anyway? Halley asked. You really want to know? Sure do. Jack cleared his throat, embarrassed. It was my beloved Halley. Ain't never met a more doting father than your old man. Taken completely by surprise by his answer, a single tear rolled down Halley's cheeks. As a gambler, she was first rate, but in every other respect, she was still an ordinary girl. She wiped the tear away and then spoke again, her tone carrying no trace of the sadness she must feel. Hey Jack, I've got a favour I'd like to ask you. Just as she spoke, however, the door opened again and let out its usual piercing shriek. Through it came Nike, wearing the glasses she had been when they last saw her, and a pair of casual jeans instead of her fancy dress. Without preamble, she said, Hey there, Jack, I've got a proposal for you. How does working again as a team strike you? Hey, I was just about to ask him that, cried Halley, no one to miss a chance. Jack sighed. The future, it seemed, was full of trouble. Job done. Everything is red. We have finished, Gambler Jack. This game rushes to its end. Right, well, we still got more to do out here, so let's keep talking to people. Student Union next. Uh, do I talk to Emma now or not? I'm guessing, of course, Red is Red is main mission point. So that's what I have to go to, is to go to Toa, right? To continue things? I don't know. There don't seem to be many upper-class students on the third floor right now. They're all out mixing with everyone else. This day's been a long day coming, but be sure to relax and make the most of it. Haha, <laughs> we haven't had an evening quite this pleasant in a long time. I'll keep the cafeteria open till morning, so take your time and get comfy. Oh, none of them giving me recipes or something like that. Queen omelette and a gorgeous salad. Oh, do you sell new weaponry? Mr. General Store Guy. I haven't got a new Imperial Chronicle in a long time. Nope, no new weaponry yet either. The tiniest amount of money we got from beating the nobles. You'd think they'd give us a little bit more. It's good to see everyone here look so happy. I just wish Crow would come back with you. Well, I guess he's our next date. Celine! Hey Celine, what brings you here? Emma actually, before she ditched me. She went off saying she wanted to double check the old schoolhouse just in case. Normally I wouldn't mind, but she left me alone with that creepy friend of hers. That's not a good place to be. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll rest until Emma gets back. Or at least I'll try. <laughs> Dorothy, get a hold of yourself. C goodness me, sorry. I think my reunion with my beloved books has me a little too excited. Such books as Christ, who's going to die next? Yet the sultry temptation pulls me back here time and time again. <sighs> I am powerless to resist. I just hope she doesn't collapse from too much uh, excitement. Yeah, don't get dehydrated there. The fact that I haven't been able to read these in so long makes all their pleasures feel new and exciting. Here, Reem, why don't you take a look at one? It will certainly warm you right up in this cold weather. I am not like the cold, thank you. <laughs> hey, Dorothy. Hey, Machias. Why the sound of things, if not for the upper-class chess club, Stefan and I wouldn't have had a club to go back to. They did everything they could to make sure the administration didn't close it while we were away. I wouldn't have expected that. That was good of them. Yeah, we owe them a lot. I'd be happy to return to the academy either way, of course, but it wouldn't be the same without our chess club. It might be worth challenging the upper-class students to a few games of chess for old times' sake. I assume they've been practicing non-stop while we've been away. That should make for some pretty exciting games. <sighs> He's as pointlessly hot-blooded as ever. <laughs> Although I'll admit, it would feel strange if he weren't now. So the lower-class chess club finally made it back after all. N not that I care, of course. Bow on them. Bow on you. <laughs> I'm still amazed that the members of the upper class chess club actually went out of their way to protect our club room. I don't think I've ever been so moved. I never forget what they did for us. Not as long as I live. I love this academy. I love its chess clubs. 
Fishing club. Of course he's not going to be here. Don't be silly. And to be honest, again, we'll be taking pictures. And has her new place. You're not Toa! Where were the books on the Karel Imperial Villa again? Hmm. Well, Love Me Tonight is not one of them. Everyone's so exhausted. Perhaps I should brew some herbal tea. Toa's favourite kind was always this one, I think. You forgot in a couple of months? How dare you. <laughs> Toa's back. She's finally back. Tomorrow's going to be a really busy day. I can't wait. We're going to have a meeting with the student council president about the plan for tomorrow. <laughs> it feels like such a long time since the student council has played a major role in anything. What is with this board? Like, everything's unreadable, except for, like, the one poster at the bottom bit you can see the word hose. Hose we are, then. What are we hosing? Hosing down Dorothy? Maybe? She's in the heat? I don't know. Bad girl, bad girl. Cold water will sort her out. Anyway, let's get out of there. Maybe it will quench her first. Let's go to the engineering building. That's locked. Should I go to the old schoolhouse and see what that is about then or not? I'm a bit worried that it'll actually have like the event actually just begin for me walking up to her. Hey, Sparrow. We finally managed to accomplish one of our primary goals. Quite the achievement if you ask me. That's not to say you should let your guard down just yet. My spirit ball tells me that things are far from over. Perhaps that warning was unnecessary, though, as I assume you knew that already. My apologies. Okay, all signs point to tomorrow's operation being a pivotal moment in deciding the nation's fate. But you knew that already, didn't you? <laughs> yes. Duh. Look at how capable you've all become. I was especially pleased to see that Fee and Vivi have developed into such fine young ladies. How lucky I am to see their return. How's Fee doing with her flowers? It's nice to know the flowers I planted before we had to leave the academy are still doing okay. Adol said she looked after them for me. That's good. Did you remember to thank her? Of course. They wouldn't be blooming like this without her, but she wasn't their only source of support. They're just like us in a way. They need care, water, sunlight, people to help them along. That's for sure. <laughs>